Sometimes I, I wake up in the middle of the night scared for a reason I can't explain. I remember that I am this person with this chronic illness, with this life-changing, debilitating illness that would affect anyone mentally to the highest degree. It's an anxiety that never goes away. There's this fear always in the back of my head that if I don't take my meds, I might relapse. That's what scares me. I wish all the time that I didn't have to go through the steps that I have to. The tremendous amount of effort just to seem normal to everybody else. I think the biggest thing is just worrying about uh, life passing me by. Worrying about being stuck in bed for the rest of my life. I think it's totally fine to be angry and sad and wish things were different because who wouldn't? It's always with you. You don't ever get a break from being chronically ill. My husband gave me his kidney when I was 42. I'm now 49, and I have an additional condition right now that remains undiagnosed. Three years ago, I contracted some kind of bacterial virus or infection in my skin that has now left me in constant pain. I don't look like I'm in pain. It doesn't look abnormal in any way. Even as I'm talking to you, I'm aware that my arms and my legs are burning and that my ears are ringing. I do have days where my pain is less. It's reduced for whatever reason. When it comes back, those are the moments where I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't. This is not fair, because you get this taste of what it's like. To be pain-free. <laughs> little by little, it's like there's these pieces of yourself that are just being cut off, just, just severed from you. Your identity becomes more and more. Is this all I am? Am I just a sick person? I've walked a long journey to understanding that it is part of my identity to be chronically ill, but that's not everything that I am. I do see myself as disabled, but it's not bad. Disabled is not a bad word. Disability is not a bad thing. A lot of the time, we're either seen as tragedies and helpless and hopeless, or as inspiration porn for the healthy and able-bodied. Parts of this can be tragic, and parts of it can be inspirational. I am a wildly different person than I was six years ago. I'm more aware of who I am as a person. I'm more aware of the kind of people I want around me. Now it's two years later almost, I'm feeling much more confident. I'm feeling excited about the work that I'm doing around HIV. When I am openly telling people about my status, when I pull out that bad girl alter ego, and I always have like my divas like Rihanna. I channel my inner bad girl Riri, you know? <laughs> And she, she's such a badass. She's kind of like my model for all this. I get that alter ego going and I do what I have to do. I'm not afraid of type one diabetes. Someone says, are you afraid that your blood sugar could drop and you could die? No, I'm not afraid of any of that. I can't be. I won't live my life and enjoy myself and do the things that I want to do if that's my fear. I have to live confidently. That means surrounding myself with confident things, my art, my photography, my dog, those are things that keep me happy. I think that's one of the most empowering things when you are chronically ill, is finding your own voice and finding your own fight for yourself. For me, this experience was to help other people like me not feel like they're alone. My grandma will sit me down and she'll be like, I see everything that you do all the time. And I know that you don't think it's a lot, but I see everything that you do. And you work so hard and you have so much going on. And I just want you to know that I'm so proud of everything that you are able to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to. I have to start all over every day. I have to make the choice that this is going to be something that I take hourly some days. Some days I take it minute by minute. Um, but it's a choice. 
We do, we have a choice, and that's my choice. Honestly, I would just ask people to listen. I think the heart of most of us is, you know, the desire to find connection with somebody else. It's really the heart of, that's the whole point, I think, of being here. Not everybody will get it, and I can't expect that of the world. I can just show up and communicate my story and my message, and it will reach somebody, and that keeps me going.